Spatial analysis helps you to understand where things are, understand how they relate, and understand what actions to take. We can use visual analysis to understand the location of things. For example, a small town is located near a large river. It has several different roads and even a bridge to cross the river. The residents of the town live in houses found along these roads. The town also has amenities such as a park, school, store, and hospital. By seeing each of these features on a map, you can better understand how they are related in order to navigate to any area within the town. If you are new to spatial analysis, or if you have used it in the past, it is important to understand how it can help you within your area of work. By looking at specific examples, you can see the benefits of spatial analysis. Let's begin by looking at an example from restaurant management. A fast food restaurant is looking to expand its locations. They have determined that customers do not drive more than 15 minutes to reach your locations based upon a recent survey. Drive time areas can be calculated for each location. The drive time areas reveal a gap in coverage for this particular area. To narrow down potential locations, demographic information is used to forecast population growth, as identified by the darker shades of green. Now, management can find a potential location to fill the coverage gap while maximizing their future revenues. As you can see from this example, using spatial analysis can help identify potential restaurant locations to better increase revenue and enhance competitive advantage. Next, we will take a look at an example from public health. A county is experiencing an increase in flu cases. They are looking to set up a mobile health clinic in addition to their existing two health clinics to administer flu vaccines. They have created a map of the confirmed cases. However, the map is not clear where they should place the mobile health clinic. By using spatial analysis, they can create a density map. The density map shows the areas of highest density symbolized by the darker colors. Placing the existing health clinics on the flu case density map, you can see that the area of highest flu case density does not have a health clinic close by. The county can now take action to provide this area with the mobile health clinic. Through the use of spatial analysis, the county can better protect its citizens from health concerns and improve the outcome of the flu outbreak. Finally, we will look at an example related to customer service. An office supply store delivers to its customers within town. They have encountered problems keeping up with their two-hour delivery service. The delivery truck has no issues delivering near the office supply store. However, they are not able to deliver within two hours to customers across town. Using spatial analysis, they have determined that adding a new warehouse and splitting the town into two service areas will allow them to meet the two-hour delivery window. Spatial analysis helps the office supply store reduce costs, increase efficiency and productivity, and improve customer service. These use cases show the benefits of spatial analysis. However, they are not all inclusive as you may find other benefits as you apply spatial analysis to your area. <music>